What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the first parent function, f of x equals x. Pretty simple function, it's just the line y equals x. Remember, f of x is just a notation for y. So to do a quick little simple review, let's make a table of values for this function here. So let's go from negative three to positive three. And notice that with this function here, the x and the y values are always going to be the same because y equals x. So this is going to be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then if we were to take this and graph it, so we'll have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So negative three and negative three, that would be negative three and negative three, so that would be over here. Then we'd have negative two and negative two, negative one, negative one, zero and zero, one and one, two and two, three and three. So basically, it's just a straight line like this. Right, so y equals x or f of x equals x, one of the parent functions, the most simple one that we're going to work with, it looks like this. Now, what is the domain and range of this parent function? Let's finish off with that. So the domain, notice that there's no limit on the x's. The x values can be anything from negative infinity to positive infinity, so we would write x er. And then same thing with the y values. There's no limit on the y values. They could be anything from negative infinity to positive infinity. Another way, another notation to write the domain and range, you could say that x is an element from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then same thing with y. y is an element from negative infinity to positive infinity. So your teacher will probably be using one of these formats or maybe even both. So uh, whichever one they're using, that's the one you can write down. But yeah, basic function, y equals x, it is just a regular line.